channel Сила Партера. Greets you. Илья Сагиров asked me to show a throw, and I'm gonna show you lateral drop today. This is my opinion, but I think arching throws such as suplex is not most optimal for judo and sambo. In sambo and judo, people uh, really own foot techniques. For example, he wants to do a suplex, and you should be getting knee in between, and I can do a sweep this way, or trip that way. And in order to throw, he should get close and lift me up and twist. That is why I don't recommend arching throws, no suplex. It's a beautiful throw, but it's hard to throw because you have to engage your back. And if you're injured or it just hurts, it's not the best idea and not realistic. So instead of arching throw, lateral drop is a better option. They are similar, but there are some differences. Lateral dr drop is better for Sambo in Judo. We'll stop you from injury and more effective. Like I said, principles, fundamentals are almost the same. Only during suplex you have to arch and during lateral drop you have to twist like a spiral. What's the principle? Here we stand. In order to control your opponent in any wrestling art, you want your working leg to be in front and in between his legs. My back leg is my support leg. Here we control him. Any kind of grip we control him. Here we're moving him around. Tripping, sweeping, best wrestling when you have your working leg in between. When you do lateral drop is when a guy steps around and tries to establish his own control. Now he shifted control. And in this situation, lateral drop is the best. My support leg will become my working leg. It will step deep in between. The deeper the better. And we add our arm as well. And as a sum, lateral drop. Let me demonstrate. Step in and twist in a circular fashion. In order to lift him up, step in deep. It's simple, right? The best grip is not high, but below his chest, in order to control his center of gravity. Lift him, but not arch, or rather twist. It's good when somebody grape finds your leg. It happens often in Sambo. And arching throws are hard because he controls your leg. But if you step in between, it's much easier to spin him. If your leg is here, it's hard to do anything. You gotta put it back in order to make a support leg. So we're shifting the working and supporting leg and throw. So we got the leg work down. What do we do with hands and arms? Two options where the arm goes. Either in between his legs, nice and deep, the deeper the better, together with the leg. And you'll get a strong twist because of that. Sometimes you can't get it there. So if you get your underhook, it's not arm deep, but shoulder deep, shoulder jab. You see what I do? Shoulder to chest. You like it, huh? Shoulder and arm towards the chest, that will aid your twisting motion. He thinks I'm going to do hip toss here, gets his leg out, and from here I twist. If you never did leg drop, my advice, crash pads. Often I see people get hurt. One doesn't know how to and another one is afraid 
and that's when head clashes or teeth clash together so a little bit uh, trauma inducing so get yourself some crash pads for safety <laughs> Вот, заходит и скручиваем, вот по кругу, вот движение. 